Hey guys, welcome to Not A Lot Edge Blade Works. Um, I was in my library tonight and I found some more books on animal tracks and I found some other ones on rocks and minerals so I figured I'd show you my five star animal tracks and rocks and mineral books that I found in my library. And the first one is a Peterson Field Guide. This is one of my favorites because it's small where you can put it inside your uh, backpack. And I love these field guides like this. They work great because you kind of put them in there and the only thing you feel is the weight because these are so small. This is a very good book and there is tons of stuff on here on uh, animal tracks and it pretty much covers everything. I was actually playing with this one because uh, I had a moose in my yard last night or night before last, yesterday morning, I'm sorry. And uh, this shows their scat, not just moose, but this on all animals it shows their scat, their tracks. It shows how they walk and uh, you know where they place their feet when they're walking and all kinds of different stuff. That's a really good book right there. Highly recommended. And one of the other ones, Animals, Tracks, Trails, and Signs. And this one is like brand new, this book here. And the reason it's brand new is because I take really good care of it. This was in my library and I seen it. I figured I'd have to show with you guys. And this is one of my favorite uh, animal track books and it's got tons of stuff in here colorful pictures it shows animal skulls their footprints their scat their trails uh, kind of like where they live and what they do during the day what they do during the night the different styles of uh, animals I mean everything lots of information in this book this is highly recommended right here great book and this is the let's see this is by Len McDowell Mc, Dow, I guess is how you say it, The Complete Tracker. And this is another really, really good book on tracking, or animal tracks, I'm sorry. And this one has, this one has black and white, and it also has a lot of color in it, colorful pages. And it's it shows different animals, and same thing, it shows the, the way they walk, their prints. Um, this is just a really good book, I mean, it has measurements in here and it shows you uh, different animal scat and what their footprints look like in the snow, the dirt, the mud, different styles like that. And it's on birds, animals, whatever. It's a really good book. This one's, uh, this is an older book. It, it looked, to me, it looks like the 70s or something. And uh, I don't see a year on here. I'm not gonna do it on, look for it on camera. But uh, Animal Tracks and Signs of North America and this is a pretty good sized book. And uh, this one was in my library and I must have grabbed this at like a garage sale or something. And I believe this is all black and white and it shows the different animals and same thing. It shows their scat, the way they walk, what they do during the day, during the night. And it pretty much covers everything. And this is a great book. So this is another five star animal track book. So it's animal tracks and signs. Really good book. I mean, if you guys get a chance to check these out, they're really fun to read. And what I like to do is uh, a lot of times is if they're in my pack and I'm out in the woods, I'll try to figure out what kind of animal it is, uh, you know, when I have a, one of the Animal Tracks books on me. And the other thing I like to do all the time is uh, look for rocks and minerals and whatever. And this, this is one of the little tiny field guides that you can throw in your backpack. And it's got a lot of stuff in here that is just awesome very colorful and this is kind of like the boy scout books i mean it's the same kind of thing and then it tells you what they use what they use the rocks and minerals for and this is an old book right here and i've had this for a long time and i found it at a, a used bookstore years ago and uh i got tons of these and i'll show you these out of my library as soon as, I, as soon as i get a chance and this is another one and this is uh minnesota rocks and minerals and of course i'm in northern minnesota so i gotta have this book and this, this is one of my favorites. It goes on my pack all the time with me when I'm out in the woods looking around for rocks. And I like to walk up and down the river looking for rocks and different styles and minerals and whatever. And it shows you what they're used for and where you can find them. That's a great book right there. And this one is really big, really thick book. It's hard to carry in your pack because it's so heavy. The thing, things weighs a ton, but just a plethora of rocks and minerals in here and what they were used for where they come from the areas you can find them in 
and just a mess of stuff. And any of these Smith Smithsonian books that you can find are just phenomenal. I mean, the coloring and everything that they do in them, the way they present them, I mean, they're really cool. They have a lot of neat little tips and tricks and stuff. And uh, like Jasper right here, um, let's see. Yeah, but anyways, Jasper is uh, one of the one of the rocks that I'm always looking for. Flint, Jasper, Obsidian, uh, Chert. Um, there's just tons of stuff in my area, and uh, and it's these are good books to have though. I mean, I like to study up on this stuff and and kind of test myself and go out and hunt. It's kind of like a little treasure hunt when you can you know do this looking for animal sign, animal tracks, uh, rocks and gems and whatever in your area and always looking for different stuff but anyways uh thanks for joining me tonight i figured i'd show you some of the books that i have in my library if you get a chance check out my girlfriend's store and her website mnoutlawcustoms.com click on the online store go into the store and check it out tell her i said hi outlaw age blade works later